So there you are on the Amazon or maybe Newegg shopping cart with sweat dripping down your p because you're having to make the tough decision between do I choose mini LED or OLED for my next HDR gaming monitor since let's be honest regular LCD blows ass well you can let that iron grip on your pearls loosen up a bit because today we're going to answer the question is mini LED or OLED better which one is a waste of money and who's your daddy so Let's get right into this one, and we're going to be going over 10 different aspects of these displays, which may or may not be the determining factor for you purchasing one and avoiding the other. First, starting off with speed, and this one hands down goes to OLED. Now, if you don't know, OLED is an organic LED, and because of that, I don't want to get into the details, but it is going to be much, much faster in terms of response times. Now, input lag. You know, it could go either way, it depends on how they create it, but response times, which determines how clear something is in motion, is definitely gonna be much, much better on OLED. So at the same frame rate, an OLED monitor could be a better competitive display. But of course, at a certain point, they both become very, very good regardless. Then let's talk about resolution for number two, and this one is going to have to go to mini LED. Now this may change in the future, but it seems like as of now, if you want a higher resolution display and you want it in a reasonable size, OLED just doesn't have a lot of options. The smallest you can get a 4K high refresh rate display right now is unfortunately 42 inches, which is a little bit big for a lot of people. Now, you can get a lot of decently sized 1440p monitors, but for all of you out there like me who are chubbing out over 4K plus resolutions, mini LED is gonna have a lot more options. Then moving on to number three, and this is brightness. Now, this definitely also could change in the future, but as of right now, this one also has to go to mini LED, as mini LED does not have nearly the amount of risk of burn-in and does allow them to push the brightness much higher. So oftentimes mini LED will be brighter than its OLED counterparts. Now, when it comes to TVs where they're pushing OLED much, much harder, especially quantum dot OLED, there actually are instances where OLED can be just as bright as mini LED and going forward into the future with new OLED technologies, I do think mini LED will eventually become eclipsed. But as for now in the desktop space, mini LED definitely does typically get quite a bit brighter than OLED. Now moving on to number four, color. And honestly, this one is gonna go to OLED, but with a caveat, quantum.oled. I think regular OLED is good if you're talking about WOLED from LG, but quantum.oled brings it to a whole new level. And it's actually reached a point where I think it's significantly better than WOLED and mini LED when it comes to the amount of color and vibrancy that you're gonna get off of the screen. And no, that's not just because Samsung oversaturates their stuff. We're talking about calibrated versus calibrated. Now moving on to number five, HDR performance. And I'm actually gonna give this to OLED, but it's gonna be a little bit depending on the type of display you get, as well as if you prefer an overall brighter image or just maybe better contrast ratios. And here, I think OLED just has a lot better contrast ratios with the per pixel local dimming. You're just getting a more fine tuned image that I think generally looks better in HDR. But again, it's really gonna depend on what you're specifically buying. Then moving on to number six, burn in. And here I'm going to give it to mini LED as mini LED. I have seen a few instances where it has some temporary screen retention, but permanent burn in doesn't really seem to be much of a problem at all on mini LED. Whereas on OLED, we've seen countless examples where if you're not being careful with your OLED display, especially for a lot of desktop usage, if you don't hide your taskbar, stuff like that, and you do things over and over and over again every single day, it could actually lead to permanent burn in something that you just aren't gonna have to really deal with or you shouldn't deal with with mini LED. Then moving on to number seven, affordability. And here I'm gonna give it to mini LED. Mini LED was definitely very expensive at first, but now there's a lot of options on the market that are continuing to drop in price every single year. And it's getting to a point where mini LED is becoming very affordable, even for high resolution, high refresh rate displays. OLED's also getting cheaper, but it does typically command a higher price still than mini LED. Then moving on to number eight, durability. Here I'm actually gonna give it to OLED. Now, of course, OLED has burn-in, but in terms of actual physical durability, I find that OLED screens are very, very resistant, and I've actually never seen any dead pixels or damage to an OLED screen, but I've seen it many times on mini LED. So OLED definitely seems to be less fragile, at least physically. 
Then moving on to number nine, finish. And here it's gonna go to OLED because at least with Samsung's Quantum Dot OLEDs, even in monitors, they're still using a glossy finish, which gives you much better vibrancy, contrast ratios, as well as clarity versus using a hideous matte screen, which unfortunately is gonna hamper the overall image quality. Now there are matte screens on WOLED monitors from LG, but hopefully that changes in the future. And then finally 10 availability, and this one's gonna go to mini LED as I'm seeing more and more mini LED options popping up but OLED has been a slow rollout. So if you're in the market for a good HDR display, chances are over the coming years, you'll probably have better luck finding the exact one you want with mini LED than finding one with OLED. So let's go ahead and tally it up and starting off with OLED, it actually got five out of the 10 points where it gets speed, color, HDR performance, durability, and finish. So for me, what that tells you is the overall image quality will likely be a little bit better on OLED. Although again, this is gonna be very dependent on the exact display you're buying. Whereas with mini LED, it gets five out of the 10 on resolution, brightness, burn-in, affordability, and availability. So overall, I think the OLED is a better technology, especially when they're using a glossy finish and they actually drive the panels as hard as they do on say, an OLED TV. However, mini LED can technically get very close to OLED in image quality, depending on how that's made as well. Mini LED has a lot of faults such as blooming and the viewing angles, but there's stuff they can do to reduce that, such as include more local dimming zones, curve the display so you get a perfect viewing angle from every side. And then of course, if they did actually get rid of the matte finish and changed it for a glossy, that also would help as well. Also mini LED typically, and I forgot to mention this one does have better text readability as they are typically regular RGB layout, whereas OLED is not. So maybe for long hours of work between the burn-in and better text readability, mini LED might be a better option for you. However, if you're more into the overall quality of the image, OLED will typically be the better option. I think as the years go on, OLED will definitely overtake mini LED with stuff like FOLED, but as for now, that's how things stand. So take those things into account when you're purchasing your next HDR gaming monitor. Whether you're looking to connect a new console, gaming PC, or just need a fast and reliable HDMI cable to connect over long distances, Rupro has you covered with their certified 8K HDMI 2.1 fiber optic cable available in sizes of up to 50 feet and can deliver a perfect full 48 gigabits per second connection over distances other cables could only dream of reaching. And with 48 gigabits per second of bandwidth, it can easily drive 8K 60 FPS or 4K 144 FPS 10 bit HDR video through its ultra thin flexible and durable housing, and it even supports ER. So if you're in the market for a cable that can drive a beautiful new TV or monitor, be sure to check out Rupro on Amazon today.